Drain Man here, and today I have got a very special video. In today's video, we are going to be checking out the newest, the hottest, the sickest Cinewhoop drone to hit the market in quite some time. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. Alright pilots, so this here is the Geek 35 by Akon and they were tag teamed with GoFly and this is a sick three and a half inch Cinewhoop drone with HD built inside. I'm super excited because this thing is packed with features, packed with style, looks super cool and is definitely going to be a monster. You're going to be able to chase, you're going to be able to follow, you're going to be able to go underneath and over and up and down. This thing is sick and I can't wait to show it to you and then take it to the field and take it for a spin. So let's dive in. So this is the box that it comes in. It's pretty cool. It says go fly on it and then you've got what appears to be like an OSD screen right on the box. Now one of the companies and the main company, the one that's selling this is Akon. And Akon Electronics is an amazing FPV drone company. They have been around for quite some time and they have always made electronics. ESCs and flight controllers and their ESCs are some of the strongest on the market but they haven't really dibbled and dabbled in drones too much. They have a 220 micro frame. Other than that, this is pretty much their first time building a drone, at least that I know of. And I must say that I have been so far absolutely impressed. The design and the creativity, I'm just blown away and I'm happy to show this to you guys. So let's go ahead and open this up and inside of the box, you're going to see that we have our instructions right on top. I'm going to move that to the side. And then right here is the drone. And look how they ship this thing. This is pretty cool. It's a puffy ball of protection. I mean, I could literally stand on this thing and the drone would be perfectly fine. So that's really cool. Now we're going to set that aside. And inside of the box, you're getting an extra phone guard. You're getting the mounting for any camera you'd like, whether it's a GoPro, whether it's a 3 60 camera, whatever you want to do on your Cinewhoop, whether you're using it for fun or you're using it for commercial, you'll be able to mount your action camera. And then you've got a baggie full of zip ties here, and this gives you plenty of options to do whatever it is that you want to do. All right, here we go. Now you open this thing and slide her out. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, and it practically weighs nothing already built. Holy cow, this can't be more than 200 grams, 220 at the most. We'll have to throw that on the scale and find out. Look at these motors, and they're actually mounted inverted, and they are made by Akon, and they are absolutely gorgeous. They come in two different flavors. You've got 1800 kV for your 6S, and you've got 2900 kV for your 4S. And these are 2004 bell size. It's 20 by 4 millimeters tall. Absolutely awesome. They're going to be very efficient and perfect for flying a Cinewhoop. Mounted right here, you've got your two-hole GemFam D90 by three propellers. That means they're the three-blade because you can get the D90s in a five-blade configuration. <laughs> I may try that out next on here and see how they do. And underneath, you're going to see where we actually have a Vista made by Cadix mounted underneath. So it's it's got like two separate plates. One, one plate's got your stack and all that stuff, and then you've got another plate over here holding your your video transmission, whatever that may be. Uh, and this drone, it's HD, and it's built just like that with some lock nuts right there. Look at that. That's not going anywhere. And then they sandwich the two together, which gets you this beautiful drone. Holy cow. I'm seeing that our battery strap is ran in a toilet bowl configuration, which is pretty cool. And then you've got your XT60 right here. Now, notice they've got a little cutout in the carbon with a little bit of 3D print to hold this for you. And I mean, it's in there good, but 
for any reason if you actually wanted to mount on the other side you could you would just pull it out of this bring it over here and put it in this one the motors are also having this little plastic under here and this is just a little touch that is a lot of times overlooked and it's an important little detail because if you're building quickly or new to building and you drive your screws in real quick and don't check and for whatever reason your screw is protruding past the base of the motor it will actually go right into your windings and what's super cool is this little plastic film right here if you can see it it will actually create a unconductive barrier where your screws won't touch your windings and won't cause a lot of problems so that's a very awesome little feature now what you're gonna see here is made out of 3d printing in black you've got yourself your actual landing gear and that's where this guy sits it actually sits on that so if you're coming down for a landing you'll land right on that 3d print and it is nice and sturdy and strong it protects all of your screws under there and you've got this accent of orange so you've got one two three landing pads in black and then one in orange which is your main uh, tail piece right here that's joining this carbon together which is very cool because looky here you can actually mount an immortal T right here now there are many different ways to do a Cinewhoop you've got them where on the ducks you've got foam or you've got a uh, 3d print or injected molded plastic you've got all these different types of options and what they've gone is they've given you something much more sturdy it's actual carbon with a little 3d print right here so if you bump something you don't really have to worry and if you miss that nub guess what there's some foam right here to protect you and that is that foam piece that we saw in the bag right here so you do have a spare if you happen to rip one of these off you're ready to go now keeping your carbon at the exact perfect length is a little bit of 3d print right here and then you've got the, the same 3d print here and that's making sure that this carbon does not pinch or get too close you want it to be shaped the way that it is this allows airflow this allows many many things to happen while you're flying in the air and doing your thing because there are other types of Cinewhoop drones that have longer ducts and what that does is when the prop is spinning and the thrust is being pushed down it can help propel you or help keep you stabilized while you're in the air this is a tad bit different and I'm excited to try it out because this is a super super stylish build You'll see here where we've got a zip tie with some 3D print holding our antenna for our Cadix Vista. That is very, very nice. Right here underneath the battery strap, we've got some rubberized battery pads so that way when our uh, battery is up here, it's not sliding or moving all around on us. Right here is a traditional mounting and you can 3D print or you can purchase whatever type of connection that you want, but they've given you a nut They've given you a bolt, they've given you an Allen key, and they've given you this right here so you can mount any action camera that you want that works best for you. Right here punched inside of the carbon is a little hole with a 3D print protector. I'm sure you can pass through there any type of things that you want. If I flip it over, you're gonna see where they've utilized a couple slots in the carbon. Can you see that with the uh, zip tie right there? And then I flip it over and it may be hard to see, but they've actually used this to strap the camera wire to keep it nice and clean. It's not gonna be bouncing around or doing anything that it's not supposed to be doing. That is really cool and very creative the way that they've done that. I like it. Now, for our camera cage itself, it is injected molded plastic. This is not 3D print. This is solid stuff right here. Now, if you were to come to a camera crash, look at that. Boom. I'm not hitting my camera. I'm hitting these ducks right here. Two solid pieces of foam keeping me safe and sound. Uh, one thing that I can't help but notice is this is our main plate. This plate right here, as you can see. This is what's holding and supporting everything. Now there's other things attached and connected and it's all kind of built off of this plate. So that is our very, very important plate. And as you can see, it is thick. Boy, look at that. That's about the thickness of a regular five inch arm and I want to go ahead and pull that thickness I haven't been able to find it but I want to know so we are in millimeters let's take a quick peek holy cow look at that we are running about four and a half millimeter on this frame plate wow
Now, underneath, you're going to see that we're running out of our stack straight into our VTX, okay? What that means is, is that they have put an onboard back onto this board, which is, which is allowing us to power this Cadix Vista right off of the board. And then on this side, you're going to see where they uh, have soldered it up, ran it over, zip tied it, but it's a plug ready to go. And you'll be able to do whatever it is that you want to do with your radio link. Me, I run the DJI radio, so I won't need any type of receiver. Now, these are three and a half inch propellers, and I want to show you this. Look at... <laughs> Look at the gap here. Can you see that? I mean, we are talking micro millimeters from this propeller touching that edge. And because it's carbon, there's no flex. So you don't have to worry about bumping into something, your plastic or 3D print getting pushed in and touching your propellers, which does happen on other Cinewhoops. It does. I'm telling you right now. But on this guy being carbon, I mean, I can bump and hit and I'm not going to be pushing in this carbon, which is going to hit my propellers. So my propellers are protected. So the name of this quadcopter, this Cinewhoop is called the Geek. G-E-E-K, like a nerd. And the reason why, in my opinion, I mean, I don't know the real reason why but in my opinion the reason why is because of the star of the show today and that is because inside of this guy we are rocking an amazing stack you've got all these cine whoops and yeah the ducks are so great and the shape is great and this and that but what's inside of it what electronics are really powering that guy what's going to happen when you get a 45 volt voltage spike what's going to happen when you draw too many amps real quick what's going to happen when you're trying to tune it and the stack is pff, mediocre. This has 25 by 25 mounting, so that means it's made to go inside of a Cinewhoop. What I do is I print me a 30 by 30 by 25 by 25 adapter and I run these guys in a full 5 inch quadcopter racing drone, freestyle drone and I get it and I go ham and this thing does not stop kicking so this is what really blows me away about this. It's rocking the STM32 F7 chip you've got the BMI 270 gyro right on board you've got 16 megabytes of flash you've got Betaflight OSD it can go up to 6S, you've got two backs, you've got your 5 volt and your 10 volt if you want to run DJ or whatever you want to do because that's why we are able to connect the Vista straight to this board and not to the power because it has that built-in back. It's got a current sensor and runs at 60 amps with a 70 amp peak. Do you really think we're going to hit that on a Cinewhoop? Absolutely, probably not. But guess what? We've got it and if something goes wrong, We've got the juice backed behind this thing, and the electronics are where it's at. So this is absolutely amazing. It runs 3 to 6S, and it's got VL Heli S, and you can run Blue J as well. So that's why I felt it was so important to go over that with you guys, because that is the magic inside of this one. So I am super excited about this. I hope that you guys are as interested and as excited as I am. I can't wait to take this out to the field. I'm going to set it up real quick stay tuned for the flight footage and i hope that you guys are really really loving this i hope that you guys will go out and buy your own and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you on the next one
come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's we. That's why I take my time. Before I make my mind up. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes. So I don't have to work no nine five. Yeah, we be taking everything for granted, no lie. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by Used to use the negativity to get high But now the comments we reading can ruin our lives Why? It used to be easy back on Easy Street Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat Even though now it's lobster, all on top of my pasta I can still feel locked up, like the head of a roster Cause they'll take your soul from right up under your nose And make you feel like you did it just to obtain your goals Oh yeah, it's good when you get it, but it don't last that long Cause I promise you can't take it with you when you gone That's why I come up and I fall off, that's on me If I fall and I sell out, that's weak That's why I take my time Before I make my mind up. And I do this like seven days out of the week and I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep I had to earn my stripes So I don't have to work no nine to five yeah, We can learn from other people's failures sometimes I used to make believe and tell a plethora of lies Now I see how actions take effect on my life Cause I don't even have a portrait of this family of mine I used to be speeding back on Easy Street Hollywood ain't that good, it's going down like it's on a needed beat Even though I got options, every tree in this garden I can still feel lost cause every day I wonder yeah. Will they take my soul from right up under my nose And make me feel like I did it just to obtain my goals I mean it's good when you get it but it don't last that long Cause I promise you can't take it with you when you gone That's why If I come up and I fall off, that's on me if I fall and I sell out, that's we. That's why I take my time before I make my mind up. And I do this like seven days out of the week. And I grind so hard, I don't get much sleep. I had to earn my stripes, so I don't have to work no nine to five.